Hi everybody, welcome back to Spill the Greens. My name's Aaron and I'm the Director of Horticulture here at Eden Green Technology. I'm standing in the middle of our 40,000 square foot hydroponic greenhouse where we grow some of the best leafy greens in the world. Today, I'm gonna to answer some questions about lighting. Why we need lighting, why our greenhouse is the best lighting environment for all of our plants and how we do things a little bit differently than everybody else. Let's go check it out. Light is the driving force behind everything a plant does. For instance, plants need a few basic things. At the very simplest form of photosynthesis, we're gonna take carbon dioxide and we're gonna take water. Putting these two together gives plants the building blocks it needs to make energy. That energy comes in a form of sugars that the plant can then use for all of its process and metabolism. How do we get from these elements down to a sugar? It's driven by the sun. The sun's not always awake and our plants are always active. So we like to use LED supplemental lighting at a very high technical level to allow our plants to have all the light energy they need every single day they're growing. Here at Eden Green, when we supplement our lighting for our plants, we look at several different metrics and aspects to make sure that we understand the light our plants are getting. One of these metrics is wavelength. All light exists in a spectrum. People only see part of that spectrum, but we have to be aware of those colors. Each color has its own wavelength, and those wavelengths will penetrate the plant tissue in different ways and affect different processes. So when you see a red light or a blue light or a white light, you are adding the colors and the spectrum that that plant needs to perform all of its functions throughout its entire life cycle. Then we look at intensity. Intensity strictly means how much light we're giving that plant. For instance, this little baby seedling plant needs a very specific amount of light. If we give it too much, we're gonna stress it out. It's gonna wilt, it's gonna burn, and it's gonna grow terribly. And if it doesn't get big and healthy with some robust roots in a short amount of time, it's never gonna grow into a great plant here. A good start procures a good finish, and that starts with the right amount of light. Fast forward to several weeks down the growing, that plant has a lot more leaves, and all these leaves do is catch that light. And the more light you give it, the more leaves you're gonna get. As long as we procure the best environment, and as long as we provide all the right things and all the right ratios, that light is going to be there to drive intense growth for a big, green, healthy plant. At Eden Green Technology, we've taken the next step in the evolution of supplemental lighting in a greenhouse. As you can see, we're surrounded by plants in our vines that allow us to grow in a highly dense manner on a smaller piece of land. This allows better production. We want to be able to put these greenhouses anywhere in the world. And to be able to do that, we have to have the utmost lighting system. We started out with top lights in our greenhouse, shining light directly down on our plants. But we needed something else. We needed to make sure that we were giving just the right amount of light to all of our plants. And we cannot do that with the top light alone. So how do we get the light to the plants? We move the lights. Here at Eden Green Technology, we have created a mobile light system. This is a very programmable light system that allows us to move our lights where they're needed for every plant throughout the entire photo period when we need light energy. That lighting system is controlled by sensors and data that we program as growers and fully automate in order to make sure those lights move even when we're not here. As the sun comes up, at the beginning of the day, we don't get full light penetration through our canopy. So our lights need to be at the top, covering all of our plants. As that sun moves up over top, that light can move down. As my top plants get all the light they need, we can supplement with our lights. On a cloudy day, these lights will move all day long, over 16 hours, slowly and subtly, to provide the perfect light for our plants, even when we don't get the sun. 